Hopefully you guys all like this video. And if you are still watching, thank you so much. Okay, in this video, I will show you guys how to make the graph of the equation x to the y's power that's equal to y to the x power. And hopefully you guys have seen my previous video because we will have to use the results from last time in order to do this. So if you haven't already, be sure you guys go check out the video. I will have the link in the description for you. Anyway, last time we discussed that, of course, this right here has to be a solution for that. It's the easy one, right? So we are going to graph this, which is really easy. And we also talk about how we can come up with the parametric equation to help us solve this. And we just have to grab this as well. That's pretty much it. And before we do anything though, I do want to just say this. I want to keep this video real, all right? So let's just talk about the real solutions. Nothing complex in this video. And also let's make the graph in the first quadrant only. Even though right here, you can also go to the third quadrant right here, but let's just focus on the first quadrant. Anyway, first part first, y is equal to x. And it's just this line, but I'm going to ignore 0, 0, because if x and y are both equal to 0, if you refer back to this, you will end up with 0 to the 0's power. That's equal to 0 to the 0's power up to you to see how true that is, right? But the moment I see zero to the zero's power, I just want to avoid that. So let me put an open circle at zero, zero. And if you want to fill that in, up to you. And let me know why. I don't know. So that's the little discussion with this open circle. And then I can just graph y is equal to x. And that's just the 45 degree diagonal line like this. So that's pretty much it. And in fact, before I graph this, we should discuss that this line is actually going to help us because the graph of this equation is actually symmetrical about this line. Why? Just refer back to that part. If you change x and y, <laughs> you pretty much get back to the original, right? In another word, if you want to look at this equation and just change x and y, you end up with y to the x power is equal to x to the y's power. So of course, the graph is symmetrical about y is equal to x. So that's pretty much the idea. We can expect whatever you have right here, you can just flip and you get something right here, right? Now, by looking at this, it seems that I have one trouble number and that's one because I will get one over zero right here and that's undefined, that's no good. But we still want to investigate what happens when t is the wrong one. So let's take the limit, right? And also, maybe you can do things like last time, plugging t is equal to two, three, four, five, and so on. But let's just do extreme values. Let me start with t is equal to zero, and then also maybe end up to be infinity. So I will just take three limits, t approaches to zero, t approaches to one, and the third one is t approaches to infinity, and see what will happen to the x and y value, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Let's do t approach zero, but another thing, I see that t is right here in the base, I don't really feel comfortable with a negative base because random things, weird things can happen. So let me just put down t approach to zero plus, all right? Because negative base to some weird number, maybe you end up with complex number, so not good. And of course, sometimes it will work, but you know, I just want to avoid that. All right, so t approaches zero plus, and let's go ahead and look at the x value. We know x is equal to t raised to the one over t minus one. And let's go ahead and plug in zero plus into the t's. So this is approaching to zero plus for the base. Raised to the one over zero plus minus one. And remember, zero plus means zero plus, sorry, it just doesn't mean that. Zero plus is like, 0 0.00001, right? It's just uh, t approach 
to zero from the right hand side. So it's just a small number, slightly bigger than zero. Anyway, we have zero plus right here. On the exponent here, this is one over zero minus one. Here is negative. One divided by negative is negative. So this is going to be zero plus, and the exponent is just some negative power. And when we have negative power, you can just bring this down to the denominator, one over zero plus. We can actually draw a conclusion that goes to positive infinity. All right, so that's the x value, meaning that we are looking for like this part x is being far away to the right. Now let's look at the y value when t is approaching zero plus. Why is this? So I will just put down t raised to the t over t minus one. But this time, if you plug in zero plus into all the t's, you end up with zero for the base. And because of this t, the exponent is also zero. That's an indeterminate form. That's no good. But it's okay, we can fix that. First, let's look at this t for the base. And we are going to write that as e to the ln t's power because we like to work with base e rather than a variable base. So this is equal to, and notice I put down equal sign because I'm just doing algebra. This t is e to the ln t, and then we raise that to the t over t minus one power. And because we have the power to the power, we can just multiply, right? So this is equal to e for the base, and then we have this times that. Let me put down t and then ln t over t minus one. Okay, we did some algebra, but if we plug in zero plus into here, this zero, ln zero plus is negative infinity. So unfortunately on the top right here, it's an indeterminate form, we have to fix that. And the usual way to deal with that is to bring this t down, down. So let's do that. This is equal to, I still have e for the base. And for this t, let's see if this remarker is going to work. Right? For this t, I will bring it down, down right here. So for the top, we have ln t. And for the bottom right here, we have t minus 1 and then over t over t, like that. And now we are ready to use Lapidus rule. So this is by Lapidus rule because we have a infinity, well, negative infinity is still also infinity. We have a negative infinity over infinity situation if you plug in zero plus right here. It's pretty much one minus one over t, right? So be sure you just do some details right here. So it's this situation, we can use Lapidus rule. And of course, do the usual thing. We are going to differentiate d dt, d dt. And we will end up with e for the base. On the top is one over t. On the bottom here, this is the derivative of one, which is zero. And the derivative of negative one over t, do whatever you need to do, you get ne positive one over t squared. And then do some algebra right here. This is equal to e to the t's power. You can multiply top and bottom by t squared. So you just get e to the t's power. And then finally, plug in zero plus. So you get e to the zero plus. This is pretty much approaching one, right? So what does this mean? When t approach zero plus, x is going toward infinity while the y value is one. So x is approaching infinity and the y value states horizontally to be one. So we have the horizontal asymptote. So let me just make a mark right here. This is my one. And let me also put down a dash line, right? Put down a dash line right here for the horizontal asymptote, right? And well, how do I know if the graph is above or below? Let's refer back to this. This is a zero plus, which is about 0 0.0001. 
and if you do e to that number, you get a number that's slightly bigger than 1. So this is actually 1 plus, meaning that the graph should be above 1. So you can expect the graph to be like this, right? Horizontally like this. So this is how the horizontal asymptote looks like, right? So maybe something like this, right? I don't know if it's going to occur forever, but as a mom, let's just do it like that. Okay, next, let's do when t is approaching 1. And let's just do a limit again. x, which is t raised to the 1 over t minus 1's power, like this. If you plug in 1, you get 1 for the base, and this is going to give you, you know, infinity, and you can break down into plus or minus cases, up to you, right? But either way, 1 to the infinity's power is an indeterminate form. We have to do more work. It's okay, because we did that already. So what we are going to do is, we write e to the t's, we write e to the ln t's power for t. So we have e for the base now, raised to the ln t's power, and then raised to that power, so you multiply those two powers. So let's just go ahead and put down ln t over the t minus 1. And then, if you plug in 1 into here, ln 1, it's 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that's 0 over 0, which is good. We can use Lapidus rule. So I'm just going to you know, write down differentiation symbols to make me happy. I'll try to do that. And then, this is approaching. And once again, I'm using Lapidus rule. Right? This is the 0 over 0 situation, so depending on how much we're going to show. Anyway, e for the base on the top is 1 over t over the derivative of t minus 1 is just 1. So just that. And then you can plug in 1 into this t. You pretty much get e to the first power, which is 1. Huh? 1 into here. So it's just e to the first power. Just, right? e to the first power, which is e. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> OK, so e for x. Now, y is what that? Well, do the same thing. Uh, we have t raised to the t over t minus 1's power. And then we do the same thing. And let me just look at the result that we have, right? Because we do this for the base, and then you multiply the powers. And if you plug in 1 into here, you get 1 times ln t. Well, and 1 technically so is 0 over 0. It's in determinate form. In this situation, you can differentiate here, differentiate here already, but it's actually easier if you look at this form. So let's write it down like that. So t to the t over t minus 1 power like this, I'm going to just write this form down for you guys. Namely, I will write down e and then ln t on the top over, perhaps I'll just write it down in blue. Consistency for the color. Color consistency. Ln t, and then over 1 minus 1 over t. And then you just show the work. d dt, d dt, right? And this right here, it's a L'Hopital's rule ready form because it's 0 over 0, so LH, 0, 0. And then this is e, and then you pretty much have that, 1 over t over positive 1 over t squared, which is e to the t. And if you plug in 1, you get e to the first power, which is e. Wow, x is e, y is also e. In fact, this right here and that, they kind of cross each other when you have the point e comma e. So we have this particular point right here, right? So let me just mark it. Let's say this is E, and that's also E. And of course, we know E is about 2.718, and so on, so on, so on. So it's, of course, bigger than 1. And the truth is, you have this horizontal asymptote. You have to just go connect it. And of course, I will have to talk about derivative and things like that, which I did in, the, in one of the previous videos, so you can just check that out. 
And let's just go connect the dots in this video. And ideally speaking, you should have more points, right? Um, yeah, but the curve goes like this. And the truth is, if you would like, you can actually just make that happen. Because as we discussed earlier, while you have this right here, you can just flip that because the graph is symmetrical about this line. So you can actually expect to have this portion like that. So it's like a nice curve like this with a line go like that. Earlier, we had a horizontal acetone at y is equal to 1. And here, you are going to end up with a vertical acetone when x is equal to 1. So it's pretty much this graph and that, right? And of course, why not? Just to show you guys the work, t approach to infinity. Anyway, let's do this real quick. x is equal to, you are going to get what? You are going to get 1, right? You'll see. So let's see when x, when we have the x is t raised to 1 over t minus 1's power. This right here is equal to, well, if you plug in infinity, this is infinity. Raised to the 1 over infinity minus 1's power, so it's 0 for the power. Infinity to a 0's power is indeterminate. So you are going to do this. So this is e raised to the ln t over t minus 1. And then you do the L'Hopital's rule, right? This is the infinity over infinity situation. So LH, infinity over infinity. Anyway, this is e, and then you have 1 over t over 1. This time, though, t is approaching infinity, so you are talking about e to the 1 over infinity over 1 like this, which is e to the 0, which is 1. And because this is a positive infinity, and you can just do whatever you would like to do. This is positive, so technically this is 0 plus, so you have 1 plus. That means it's a little bit bigger than 1 right here, so it's like that. All right, and then lastly, let me just put this down. Nice T. <laughs> In fact, if you are also a calculus teacher, uh, you can pick one of this. <laughs> like, you can have like six really good limit questions right here to put on your calculus exam. But anyway, <laughs> lastly, let's do y. So we have t raised to t over t minus one power. This right here though, do we need to do any um, seem crazy. No, because if you plug infinity right here, let's see. You have infinity for the base. On the top, this right here is t over t. As t goes to infinity, this right here goes to 1. So we just have infinity to the first power. This right here goes to infinity. Right? So if you would like, you can just have a note. Uh, t over t minus 1 goes to 1 as t goes to infinity, right? You can do L'Hopital's rule right here if you would like. However, but the minus 1 doesn't matter. Then they have the same degree, t and t, so yeah. Anyway, when x is approaching 1 from the right-hand side, y goes up to infinity. So that confers with what I said earlier, and this is it. And for this part right here, you can also do derivative to show that it is concave up situations and all that stuff. Well, maybe you can do derivative to show that this is decreasing, whatever. But I think this is enough for this video. It's a lot. It's uh, 20 minutes. So hopefully you guys all like this video. And if you are still watching, thank you so much. That's it.